Hey YouTube, Kier Twig here, bringing you all a Yu-Gi-Oh! value pack, booster pack opening. I actually have not seen one of these that actually uh, tempted me for quite a while. Every time I would see one of these, I'd see a booster pack that was either lackluster or one that just didn't really interest me at all. But when I was at my uh, local pharmacy, I actually saw this there in their trading card section. They had actually a couple of them, but I uh, noticed this one, not so much for the Soul Fusion in the front, but because all them had soul fusion but uh this one booster pack here i can't tell if it's hidden arsenal six but i think it might even be dual overload i guess we'll open up the pack and find out we have the two packs to open up and the 15 guaranteed cards a foil and a rare so let's go ahead open it and just see what we get i always figured i'd make a video for it just because you always never know you might find one of the hidden gems but it really is dual overload that is so awesome there is a halka fibrax chance now to pull with this one pack here that's really really cool i really now i don't regret opening this because i wanted to know for sure if the pack inside of it was actually dual overload and i guess i was right there the other packs didn't really look like they were dual overload though all right so we've got i believe these are the rares and the foil so we have a heavy mech support platform, Zubababa Knight, Marshmallow, glasses. You can really tell that they put these together by hand for the fact that they're not even in order. Perform Pal, Extra Slinger. And we have World Legacy, World Crown, Beat Raptor, a Miscellaneous Source is always cool, Grand Horn of Heaven, Phantom Knights, Lost Fan Brace, Bug Signal, uh, Cordyceps, Baby Dragon from Dark Beginning 2, and a Mountain. And I think this one is the foil I can kind of tell from the foil bend. So our rare is Subterror, Nemesis Warrior, and seeing a lot of Maximum Crisis and Dark Illusion. This is Ash Blossom, I'm gonna scream, but <laughs> nope, I really doubt it would be. It is a Beast King Barbaros, though I'm a real big fan of Barbaros, especially when you can use him in the video games, so that's always a cool pull there. All right, I'm gonna save the dual overload for last, so I'm just going to open the Soul Fusion first. I believe, yeah, all the cards in this should be, or not all, but it should be one foil. So we have an Orchestrated Attack, a Bear Blocker, until Noble Arms are needed once again. Uh, we have a Galaxy Trance, and we have a second expedition into danger. So sadly, just a super rare here, but we have an orchestrated Ein Sots, Emerald Eagle, Chimera, and Purple Armageddon to finish off the Soul Fusion pack. All right, the big finale now comes down to the dual overload. I can't remember if there's an order to the cards in this pack or not, but we'll find out. All right, we have a Dark Antelion Dragon to start us off. A Magical Musketeer, Casper. Uh, Graveyard of the Wandering Souls. A Malefic Paradox Gear. And our final card is, it's a Link Monster, and it is Ojama Emperor. So I got excited when I saw the Link Monster, but then I remembered that Halka Fibrax doesn't have a zero attack point mark, and it's not a Link 3 either. But still, I was glad. It was only a couple bucks for the whole pack, so definitely fun to just open it up and see. And I hope you all enjoyed just this quick little booster pack opening. This definitely surprised me. I don't see dual overload too, too often, so nice pickup there for sure. But I hope you all enjoyed the video, and as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and Kira Twig out.